This is week number two for Democrats to prevent a quorum in the Texas House during the special session of the legislature and to block Republicans' election integrity bills. So how will they keep the public engaged in their fight? Political reporter Jack Fink takes a look. It's all new here at 5. House come to order. Republicans remained sidelined in the Texas House Monday and gaveled out after 40 minutes. After a week of high-profile news conferences, Democrats say they enter their second week out of state with a continued dual-track fight, urging the U.S. Senate to act on one hand. The ultimate way to solve this problem uh, is for Congress to enact strong federal voting rights legislation immediately. Not next year, not later this year, but immediately. But with the Senate lacking the 60 required votes to start debating those bills, Texas Democrats say they are also keeping a busy schedule and holding meetings like the ones this morning. We're going to be hearing from advocacy organizations, uh, secretaries of state, election law experts from across the country so that we can actually come up with good elections law policy and not the kind of partisan uh, policies that are uh, that are infringing on the on the freedom to vote back in Texas. Texas House Republicans maintain their bill doesn't suppress anyone's vote and that they'll wait for Democrats to return to Austin and then pass it. I think it's pretty clear the Democrats really haven't planned this out. They haven't thought it out. I don't think they have an end game. So we're going to keep the pressure up. Dr. Kimmy King, political science professor at UNT, says if Democrats want to succeed, they should explain to the public what's in the federal voting rights bills and expand their coalitions. They need to think seriously about what they will do for the rest of this special session to make it clear that they are still trying to do something. Otherwise, they start being called the do-nothing Democrats. Governor Greg Abbott says the special sessions will keep coming. Last week, he told me the next special session will begin August 8th, the day after the current one ends. Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.